Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another <laughs> moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Mr. O, we have a serious problem. We opened for New Year's Eve in 30 minutes and we ran out of party hats. We can solve this. All we need is symmetry. Symmetry is a mathematical term used to describe a shape or an object that is made up of parts that are the same. Most of us are familiar with reflection symmetry. That's symmetry where the object is made up of parts that are mirror images of each other. In biology, we refer to this as bilateral symmetry, where two halves of an organism are mirror images, such as in butterflies, dogs, and even humans. With paper, we can make these often with just one fold and then cutting. This heart, triangle, and even the letter T are all examples of reflection symmetry. However, to make the party hats, we're gonna to need to use rotational symmetry. That's symmetry where an object rotates around a center point, but the parts remain the same. In biology, this is called radial symmetry, as seen in organisms like starfish and some flowers. For paper, we need two or more folds before cutting. For example, this plus sign I just cut out, when spun around its center, has the same rectangles over and over. That's rotational symmetry. Another example is the classic paper snowflake creation where you fold paper and cut shapes out of it. Let's build those hats. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. We're gonna make some fun party hats. Before that, you'll need wrapping paper, markers or pencils, a ruler, a pair of scissors, and a stapler. First, cut out a 24 inch by 16 inch piece of wrapping paper. Put the paper down in the landscape and give it a hamburger fold left to right so the colors are in the middle. Then fold the bottom edge to the top edge. Finally, fold the top left corner to the bottom edge. Next, use the ruler to measure seven and a half inches from the bottom left corner along both the slanted and the bottom sides. Draw an arc, that's a curved line, between the two points and cut it out. Open up the more triangular piece halfway, the rest you can recycle. Using the ruler, measure from the center point four inches along each of the three creases, cut along the lines. Finish opening up the shape and then repeat step eight for the two uncut creases. Notice that when the shape spins around the center point, it has rotational symmetry. That finishes the bottom of your hat. Put it off to the side and begin the top part of your hat by repeating steps one through four. This time, fold the top layer of the triangle back to the slant. Use the ruler to measure four inches from the corner along the slant and the bottom edge. Also using the ruler, measure five inches from the corner along the middle line. Draw lines between the three points and cut them out. You should end up with a diamond shape. When you open up the diamond shape, you should see an eight-pointed star. Rotate the star around the center, and once again, you'll see rotational symmetry. To finish your hat, flip the paper over so the colorful sides of both pieces are up. Staple the points of the stars to the points of the triangular flaps. So that's the hat. Of course, this is just a basic hat. Because you're dealing with rotational symmetry, you can cut different shapes instead of the arc and triangle to get different shaped hats. You can also change the size of the paper, use different pattern paper, and decorate with some of the leftover bits of paper. So make your hat your own special fashion statement for any party. This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. Happy New Year! Woo!